Hey, welcome to Math Life Balance. As I warned you in the previous video, I'm starting a new video project, K-Theory Wonderland. This is my attempt to popularize abstract math. It will be a series of short videos on algebraic K-Theory. And today I want to explain why I chose this topic. When I told to my non-math friends about the project, they were supportive and excited because usually outreach sounds fun when it's about things that are far from what you do. But when I told about it to my math colleagues, their first reaction was, K-theory? Really? You couldn't find anything more accessible? Why choose such a hard topic? And frankly, their concerns are completely valid. Indeed, within pure math, algebraic K-theory is particularly hard to pitch for several reasons. First, the definition of algebraic K-theory is very abstract. And I plan to make the first three videos dedicated only to the definition of algebraic K-theory. Oh yeah, just the definition itself already contains too many abstract ideas to be shown in one or even two videos. Crazy, right? Indeed, I don't know another example when a Fields medal would be given for a definition. According to Wikipedia, Daniel Quillen, an American mathematician, is known for being the prime architect of higher algebraic K-theory, for which he was awarded the Fields medal in 1978. Second, there is no one single most important reason to care about K-theory. As a mathematical object, K-theory is powerful not because it has a straightforward application, not because it solves one famous classical problem, but rather because it appears as an answer or a conjectural answer to various questions in different areas of math, and connects in an unexpected way objects that a priori don't have much in common. For that reason, I think that to embrace the beauty of K-theory, one has to spend time learning about it from different perspectives, and that's why I like this topic as a material for a series. Altogether, I like K-theory as a target for outreach because it's very different from the math objects that are normally used for popularizing math. And I want my area of math to be more represented in outreach. But more importantly, I just want to share with you what I find beautiful in math, and I hope that it brings joy to you. As a trailer, let me mention some topics that we might see in this series. We will first meet K-theory in the context of algebraic geometry, and then we will see how it is connected with the famous Bernoulli numbers from analysis, with a very old problem in number theory, with characters from differential geometry, such as smooth manifolds and their cobordisms, with the mysterious chaos and topology given by the homotopy groups of spheres, with a cute categorical universality property called additivity, and the list goes on. You can see how this is not just one thrilling plotline, but more of a postmodern novel with different layers of plots where heroes meet each other when you do not expect them to, and it turns out that they had connections that you couldn't imagine. So next week we will see the first ideas for the definition of K-theory. See you next Friday!